difficulty, and audience response. Top score possible is 30 points. After scoring, judges will choose the top three scoring characters to be announced on stage, and prizes will be distributed to the winners. Now, now, debating the host or judges may lead to disqualification. This is fun for all. So, bring your best self. And, uh... We're going to bring some more of the best music Minnesota and the surrounding states has to offer with some songs by String Dingers and Dead Larry. We'll be back in just a few moments, folks. One, two...
end of time itself when the stars burn out. <laughs> That was Could It Be by the String Dingers and Sun Beats by Dead Larry. Now let's dip into some FAQs, the most frequently asked questions about the festival. Where is the Galactic Get Down? Well, it's located at Outback Ranch. That's 7750 TT Road, Houston, Minnesota. But ignore that address and just plunk Outback Ranch into your GPS and you'll get there just fine. Gates open to the public at 3 p.m. on Thursday. And weekend passes will be sold at the gate for $135. Uh, Thursday pre-party passes are sold for an additional $20. And Saturday-only passes are available on Saturday only for $75. And yes, all tickets include camping. You will need your photo ID at the gate as they will be checked. And you must be 21 to drink. There's a zero-tolerance policy for underage consumption of alcohol and illegal drug use at the Galactic Get Down. Children under 15 are free, and anyone under the age of 18 needs their parent or legal guardian present. Music runs 5 p.m. to 2, p- 2 a.m. on Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. on Friday, and 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. on Saturday, giving you plenty of time to rest so you can rage. There will be a bar on site, folks, located right next to the main concert bowl. You run out of beer, they got you covered. There is extremely limited power at the campsites. It is on a first-come, first-served basis. And power is not guaranteed unless you've already purchased an RV site. There will be an H2O station for filling your water containers. This is well water and may taste a little metallic, but it will keep you hydrated throughout this very hot and very humid weekend. Plan accordingly. Lots of sunblock and anything else you need to stay cool. I have good knowledge that there is plans on having a few kiddie pools and even a sprinkler set up. So that'll be fun. You cannot set up tents and camp by your car as the venue does not allow car camping. They can take cards at the gate. So if you don't got cash, they still got you covered. The parking fee, however, is cash only and is $10. So make sure you travel together. Make a community deal of it. And cash is preferred with all on-site vendors. Some of them might have card readers, but get your cash. There is not an ATM on site, folks, so make sure you pull that cash before you get to the get down. There are no showers available on site. Unfortunately, we're going to be a fat, sweaty, steaming mess of humanity this weekend, folks. There is not a lot of shade, 
because it's the galactic get-down, and weather permitting, we all like to gaze up at the stars at night. There is some trees around the outer perimeter of the campground, but those will probably go quick, so if you want shade, get there early. There are day passes, once again, available for $75, and that includes camping Saturday night. You can only purchase these passes on Saturday. And the pre-party, once again, is $20 at the gate. And if you don't have a weekend pass, you can't come to the pre-party. There will be a limited supply of fire rings provided on the campgrounds. Fires must be closely monitored and cared for. And wood can be purchased on site for, well, last year it was $7 a bundle, so it should be relatively around that price. Pretty decent. Outside firewood and fire rings are not allowed. There is also ice sold on site, $5 for 7 pounds or $10 for 20 pounds. You can bring your friendly leashed dogs, as long as you're a responsible owner, and you clean up after them. Per venue policies, dogs are not allowed on the horse trails. The venue and festival is not liable for any injury to horses, riders, or event attendees that may result from your dog's actions. Also, per venue policies, there is no pit bulls or excessively barking dogs allowed. So I've had to leave my yappers at home for the weekend, but we got a dog setter. That's all good. Security will be provided by Beefcake Security again this year. And please be respectful. Uh, please be respectful of their instructions as they've been hired to keep everyone safe and keep the festival running smoothly. They're not there to ruin your day or kill your vibe, and first aid will also be available on site. Make sure you bring your own beer, folks. This is a BYOB event, and once again, zero tolerance policy for underage drinking, and make sure you bring your own